congratulations. It's been a tiring old week with a fair bit of travel. You must have been delighted to be able to take this one away at home. Absolutely. Um, anytime we play Adelaide, we know we have to rise to the occasion. And so tonight was no different. You know, they came out firing. And luckily, we were able to get some pep after halftime and come out and play our brand of basketball. You just said to me uh, while we were off air that um, you've got to love having Christy Harrow on oh, your team. And it's a comment you actually made last year, too, yes. that you, when you came to Bendigo, it sort of reestablished your, your love for the game and, and the fact that playing with Christy really improved your game. Oh, absolutely. You know, Christy, as she showed tonight, just is a master of the game. She really knows how to play basketball and makes my job so easy, makes me look great, which I love. And um, I just love playing with her. This year's no different. We've had, we have more scores around her even this year. So, you know, on any given night, she may have to take over like tonight or she may just take a back seat and kind of assist and um, help the flow of the game. But, you know, Christy came out and played amazing. So with um, the additions that you've talked about, Elise Panaluna and Sarah Blikovs, that basically frees up you to play in the three spot a little bit more. Right. Is that something you play in the WNBA? Um, well, this actually was the first year that I played um, in the four in the WNBA, which is more my natural position. And uh, I believe I have more success at it. But um, it's been great for me to be here and play at the three um, because that definitely helps my versatility and makes me a better prospect as a pro. And so it's been challenging. I've had to work on my outside chop a fair bit but uh, it's good it's good so Kelsey uh, Connecticut the Connecticut Sun the northeastern part of America uh, in the winter yes compared to Bendigo in the central part of Victoria in the summer and yeah. you go with the climate changes and the lifestyle variations <laughs> and all those things because that's a bit of a headache I imagine well I'm actually lucky enough that I get to go summer year round okay so when I'm in the WNBA <laughs> it's actually a summer so I haven't had to experience Very a Connecticut good. winter um, but I hear they're pretty brutal. Um, I do get emails from the coaches, our GM and stuff, and it's usually about surviving the winter time. It's never usually that pleasant. So I love it here. I love the summer. It's great. So Kelsey, you, do you get to go home for Christmas first? Um, no, I'm staying here for Christmas. So, so you do. You've just missed Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving, uh -huh. and you miss Christmas. Yep. Is that hard being a professional athlete and, and missing those occasions? Uh, it definitely is. You know, people think it's all glamorous being a professional athlete, and a lot of times um, the sacrifices are on the family end. And I have an amazing family who's so supportive. I skyped with them yesterday to be able to wish them Thanksgiving, um, hear about what they were getting up to, and so that was great. And I imagine it'll be the same thing around Christmas. This will be my first ever in 26 years non-white Christmas. So. <laughs> I don't know what to think about it. Well, I just have one last question. We have had a few imports that have come over. Um, Chelsea Albury, Claudia Bizard, mm -hmm. Lori Chiswick, yep. and have actually come for one year and stayed. Are we going to see you staying in Australia? That's my plan. If I could have it my way, that's how it would be. Fantastic. Uh,